we're going to install these blocks first. I need to pull these off and uh, install threaded inserts on the new guys. Grab an M3 screw, pre-install it just so I have a better leverage. Now with that you can push it in correctly so it's ready to go. hot enough that if it's not fully sunk with your flat uh, heat sink you will completely flatten out in there so because it stays hot for a long time plastic is a wonderful insulator a thermal and electrical insulator for the most part so that's one one thing we got going for us here. So just flatten it, make sure it's completely flush. These look really nice. They seat perfectly. It takes it just a few seconds to install. And uh, yeah, you don't have to go too deep right away. Leave it proud slightly, and just as you work it with your heat sink, with your yeah piece of aluminum. You think it uh, works out really nice. Okay, we're back. Now that all these inserts are in place, let's put the bearing back in. This one's quite nice and easy. Okay, so the bearings go in really nice and easy. Now they're in tension, so the fit is just about perfect because it holds it in good shape. And... Uh, Let's see if I remember correctly. I believe this is fully centered in here, so it shouldn't matter which way you install it. And uh, you just have to kind of line it up so you know where the D goes. If the D is like this, pop it right through. And it should, it should be able to go in all the way. Let me double check how it uh, goes in here. So I do need to shorten this axle from the original design. Um, so I'll leave these up for the time being and just bolt on. Mm. There's also a specific uh, arrangement. The, ten the motor uh, comes in two different varieties, left and right. Uh, this is your standard motor that goes on the left side of the gantry and then the wide uh, a wide block goes on the right side of the gantry so since I'm upside down that's this is left this is right and then these guys are um, let's see there is also a uh, a reason to my madness here uh, this side goes um, towards the outside of the printer so if you're looking at here um, they need to be they need to be installed like so and they need their uh, pieces like that then we install the rod basically as far as it it will go it's a little bit of a press fit so it pushes through all the way to this lip you can back it up a little bit this is optional we'll see if i need to tighten those so far it's a nice and tight fit on all of these and uh, this was much simpler and then the motor bolts on right here uh, fits just right no need for any kind of persuasion 
these features here would have been impossible to print so I, I built in these bridges it did snap it during assembly which is fine they're supposed to be just strong enough to hold that piece here and this is purely cosmetic but I wanted to continue that surface so um, sometimes you do things for vanity I guess the stepper motor has to be put on first or else you won't install the screws so the replacement of a stepper will be a little bit more involved now I don't know how often you change change out steppers it's generally the last thing that ever fails so or that needs to be changed out uh, if you are upgrading your stepper motors I guess uh, there's a little bit more work on this particular gantry because you can't just easily access the uh, screws for the motor I just go in go around or in a cross pattern and just tighten it up nicely because uh, certainly these two screws you're not reaching once the uh, axle is in before I forget I need two bearings for the uh, for this rod and then they just drop in like this make sure that this isn't pre-installed even if you don't install the tensioner right away you do need to preset these guys and then let's see if I can get this installed blindly will I be able to find it with brass inserts be careful though don't cross thread them and once I make contact with the screw I just back off a quarter of a turn or something just to make sure that uh, I can square the gantry later I can let leave these things floating for the time being so no need to uh, go ape on this just yet again with threading inserts you never want to go ape on the connections and we're back serious this time uh, last time I forgot these bearings so I had to pop this off but let's really quickly uh, let me show you how this goes on this just clicks over the rod and then the two bearings slide in so perfectly uh, easy to set up let's see how the rods go in so I'm gonna uh, this surface actually was uh, probably has a little bit of an elephant's foot so I'm gonna give myself a little relief like so just deburr that edge and see if, uh, if I can press this on without much issue. So it's nice and tight. We'll do that with both rods. So again, very relatively easy. Then I'll push these forward by as much as I need to. And I guess I should deburr that side as well. Deburr it to make it easier to install. And then I'm going to push it from the left. Like so. And then I guess that's what I'm saying. So that's my. And the, the gantry is automatically. Oh my gosh, butter, feels like butter, but I, I forgot all the bearings here. <laughs> so we have to pull these shafts out slightly and just work them a little bit at a time. So um, let's see, that's the back of the machine and the back requires two bearings per tool head. So let's put two plus two 
that's where the weight is that's where most i was even thinking that the rear shaft i could run the steel and change this to aluminum or even carbon fiber that would be kind of cool so that's my rear of the tool kind of work it together there we go and put two bearings here that's the front of the machine i hope so I'll slide this into position and that's our gantry then one one says um the the nice thing with the 70 millimeter center to center is that it is almost self squaring i can drive this from one side without any issues and do the same thing here it's pretty amazing how rigid it is i will obviously drive this here tighten those screws drive it here tighten those screws but i'm amazed how nice this gantry is oh let me show you this tool here this is a bearing removal tool uh, so the new design this is just a random part the new design requires these bearings to click in tightly and so you can no longer pull the tool straight up and decouple it and this this example the latch is already broken but the concept is that once it clicks in place there it's going to be very hard to remove it remove the tool so I came up with this little uh, bearing de detachment tool or delatching tool. So, yeah, that's another 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 file to post on printables. But right now, I am extremely happy. I can't wait to get the belts and everything else in here. And uh, I have a magnetic drive here. I have magnetic drive here. Both push push latches in. This is just coming together really nicely. Can't wait to start printing. That's it for now. Bye.